So yeah, we might as well talk about it. I'm mean, like, I'm, I, I don't care. Like, we're gonna talk about it because it has to be talked about from everywhere. If 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 you are a black person that feels affected by this, then you need to speak up. We need to speak up because this cannot keep on happening. What's happened to George Floyd cannot keep on happening. And I don't even need to say any more names. I don't need to say anything, any mention any more names. You can Google this now. It has gotten to the point where it has been recorded, it has been filmed and recorded that many times that you can now Google how many black men have been killed by the hands of police. Unarmed black men have been killed by the hands of police. Unarmed black people. Because there, there, there is a 14 year old girl in there. There is a woman that has been shot to death in there. There is a 12 year old child that was playing with a toy. That was killed by police. And they were not charged. And as it stands, the reports are coming out that the police may not even be charged for this one. The most blatant example that we can ever have of police abusing their power. The most blatant. A policeman had his knee on a man's neck for nearly eight Minutes. Eight minutes. Oh, he could talk. When you are fearing for your life, you are going to make as much effort as you can to scream out for help. So, of course. You can hear the man screaming. He can't breathe. His back is hurting. His neck is hurting. And from the video that we all saw, all we could see was two people. There were two other people behind that car holding that man down. So the policeman who was on his neck didn't even need to use that kind of force. The man was handcuffed. He was being held down by two other people. And everyone has seen the video. The guy is casual as you like. With his knee on a man's neck. And well, loads of people around him. Around the car and around the policeman. Telling him, get off the man's neck. He's screaming out in pain. You do not need to do this. Everything in that video shows that that force was excessive. Excessive. So I do not understand this police chief that is talking about what kind of policy or, or what kind of routine or whatever... That they that that the policeman had to follow and he did not break. How? 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 I'm not even no, I'm not even gonna ask how. Because it's blatant, it's bullshit. It is blatant, it is bullshit. And it is another example of the police protecting their own. And this is the problem. This is the problem. This has been the problem. Throughout all of time with this. Police protecting their own. Loads of people coming out about, oh, it's not all police. Okay, yeah, cool. It's not all police. But if these other police aren't standing up against these, these actual corrupt, incompetent, criminal police people, then what good is you? What good is the fact that you didn't do anything? The fact that you not you've not done anything is making the problem worse. Sick and tired of having to explain why us as black people are angry about this. 
whether it's from the US or in the UK. It may not be as many as in the US, but the UK have had, we've had our fair share of unarmed, unlawful killings at the hands of police. Stephen Lawrence is the most recent one. This has to stop. The riots, the riots that are going on. At first, they used to be like, nah, we shouldn't be doing that. No, 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 no. People from that area, yo. People around them, yo. I know it may be going against the family's wishes and this, that, and the other, but at the end of the day, these riots are the only time people are going to listen. And everyone else can make them, can try and make the result more important than the actual reason as to why these riots are happening. You can keep doing it, but every time this happens, every time this happens, a riot kicks off. And it is because of people being sick and tired, angry, hurt, I saw a fella, I, I saw another um, black brethren put up a video explaining how he feels where, you know, and I, I relate to it so much, I relate to it so hard. Big upside, man. But the way he put it was perfect. When we were kids, yeah, when we were kids, we got pissed off. If, he, if, if I hit him, we were not going to be able to sort anything out get on back on any kind of level until he hit me back. Same way if he hit me, we're not going to get on any kind of level, be cool, be friends again until I have hit him back. Right now, we feel like we're getting hit constantly, but we can't hit back. And when you are in that position where you feel like you are being hurt and you can't defend, you can't retaliate, you can't defend yourself, of course you're going to be angry. Of course you are going to be upset. And everyone trying to go on, go on, why we, why we go on like they don't understand why black people are upset about seeing this, this kind of thing. Seeing these kinds of injustices go unpunished. Google. Google all of these cases. And count how many have come have been charged and had any kind of sentence of any shape or form. Yeah, they've been fired. <laughs> oh, I lost me job. I took a life and I lost me job. No normal human being can do that. No normal human being flip the flip the script. Flip the script. If this was a normal civilian with their neck with their knee on a policeman's neck or any other human being on the this was a normal human being on a normal human being neck being filmed for eight minutes do you think any kind of procedure is going to be taken into account do you think his job title is going to be taken into account no what was your intent what was the reason you felt you needed to stay on this man's neck for nearly eight minutes? I've heard reports that it was only six. I've heard reports. Look, look it's over five. <laughs> imagine having your having, imagine having your breathing restricted for five minutes. Not only that. Imagine having your blood restricted, your blood flow restricted for five minutes. Five. Let's not. Let's take away the extra three. Let's do. It's just five. If this, if this was a normal human being, do the human person doing this to another normal human being. Would anything else be, be anything else be taken into consideration other than intent? Why? Why are you doing this to this person? 
Where was the clear and present danger there where you felt that a handcuffed person with two other men holding him down would cause enough of a threat for you to restrict someone's breathing and blood flow? Take away everything else. When we break it down like that, if this was a normal... Oh, and people wonder why us as black people are angry. Why we're like, fuck the police. And as I said in the previous, vi previous video, on the, on the completely different side of the spectrum, we're on lockdown. There is a pandemic. We're all being told to stay in our homes. We can't visit family or friends. Yet a man who has contracted this virus can travel 250 miles to see his family with the rest of his family. And that's fine. You can understand the parental instinct. Another blatant, blatant example of there being one rule for them and another rule for us. One rule for the establishment, for the government, and another rule for us, the general public. People wonder why other people don't vote. People wonder why other people are just angry. Why we've just got no faith whatsoever. I've completely lost faith in our system now. I will not lie. I have completely lost faith in our system. Completely. I have no faith, no trust in anybody coming from any kind of government, government side of things. None, none. Even the good guys. Even the good guys, because at the end of the day, when they get into it, at some point, they are going to have to compromise to be able to get anywhere. And by that point, from you've made that compromise, you've fucked it. You've fucked it completely. You have fucked it. For anyone trying to do good, trying to break into politics, trying to break into the police, trying to break into any kind of service for the people that can be corrupted, they are going to have an uphill battle against so many people that are just as happy to keep this current system the way that it is. Just as complicit, complicit, just as compliant to keep this system the way that it is. That's why no policemen have ever been charged. Ever. Except for Rodney King. Outside of that, no policeman have ever ever been charged. No policeman that has committed murder, unlawful killings of unarmed people, no policeman has ever had to serve a sentence. None. They've lost their jobs, yes. Well, what do you do? They can get another job somewhere else. They've lost their reputation. Oh, well, what do you do? They could move to another city where nobody knows them. Oh, it's fine. Or move to another country where... No like, what? 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 <sighs> oh, that's enough, is it? Someone has lost their life. Someone has stopped breathing. And the police are just passing it off like, oh, it's just an everyday thing. That is a problem. That is a problem. Don't. <coughs> I know that I know people that gotta be like, well, what's the solution? We speak out. We speak out. We intervene. There's better 
people willing to take videos and da 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 for fucking social media clout. Cool. All right, cool. If you want to intervene, you see somebody else filming. Cool, right, boom. They've got your back. Intervene. Videos ain't gonna do shit. Clearly. There's blatant video evidence of this and still there's yet still there's talk of no policemen receiving any charges. Intervene. That's what we have to do. We have to kick off. We have to kick off. If we see it, we have to kick off. We have to. I see no other alternative. I'm sorry, Mr. Policeman, that feel like, oh, you shouldn't be included in this shit. Oh, you're one of the good guys. I'm sorry if you feel fucking bad about it. But that's the way that it's got, got, to, be, got to be. Blatant video evidence. And still policemen are not going to get fucking charged. So what, what good is a video then? What good is people recording it? If a life is still gonna, if his life is still gonna get taken and no no consequences are gonna be met, what good is a video? Yeah, I'm making this video right now to put the point out there to be part of the conversation because we all need to speak. We all, I can't, we, we can't sit in silence no more. We just can't. We just can't. I'm sorry. We just can't. We all need to fucking speak. And if it means getting back to the Black Panther days where we start fucking police, the police and the police in order to protect our communities, if it gets to that stage, so fucking be it, fam. So fucking be it. Sick and tired of being angry, sick and tired of saying not again, sick and tired of not being surprised. Oh, that's the most horrible part about sick and like not that I want to feel pain every time, but the fact that it's got it's happened that many times now that we're that we're, we're desensitized to the shit. All we can feel is just anger. That's it. Just anger and pain. Cause it has to stop. Something has to change, the system has to change, but if the system isn't willing to change itself, then it's up to us then, isn't it?